by default, Photoshop's Camera Raw wants to open all images as open image. What this means is if I click open image, it opens the image, and now I'm ready to work on a background layer. Okay, very straightforward, very basic, and it's also how I expect many people to actually work. But let me show you a little bit more of what can be done. If I close this image and open it back up again, inside of Camera Raw, it still says open image. However, if I hold down the shift key, it changes to open object. And basically, all this means is it's going to open up a smart object. When I do this, a whole world of opportunity is now available to me. Notice that it no longer says background layer. It actually has the name of the file that I opened. And we have this funny little icon here, which is the icon for smart object. So what is the difference between the two? Well, watch this. If I take this image and I drop it back in here, and I say open image, it now comes in as background, which means it is what it is. The pixel information has been defined, and we are now building on top of this pre-pixelated image. If I were to zoom all the way in, and in, and in, you could see all the pixels that make up her eyebrow. And then over here, you can see all the pixels that make up her skin, and then all the pixels that make up her eyes. You get the idea. There is no coming back from this. Basically, whatever raw information I put in is all but lost at this point. However, if I open it as a smart object, a pretty amazing thing happens. I can double click on it and watch what happens. I am right back into Camera Raw, where I can make more adjustments and tweaks to get it just the way that I want it. Click OK. It's going to think about it for a few moments, and then it's going to make that change for us. If I decide that, that was wrong and I don't like that, I can double click it again and simply put it back and go OK. I am no longer being limited to my decision when I first edited the raw image, and that's huge. If you think about it, if you work inside of Lightroom or Capture One or any other raw processor, they're all going to give you the same end result, but only Camera Raw is going to allow you to edit a smart object, to double click on it and go back into it once again and make that editing change. This is like the ultimate in non-destructive workflow.